Good Tuesday morning. I'm meteorologist Chris McGinnis. My uh, friend and partner here uh, in crime, Rod Hill, is on assignment already this morning. Already hard at work on his next rod on the ro rod on the job, I should say, coming up soon. All right, so let's talk real quickly about today's weather. I also want to get into a story that I did on Sunrise today about the possible future of transportation in Oregon. More on that in a second. Let's get you uh, kind of going with what we're looking at today, which is uh, kind of same old, same old from yesterday. If you like yesterday afternoon, you're probably going to like today. The satellite loop showing generally clear skies overhead. Obviously, we've got some fog to deal with this morning, but once that burns off, a pretty nice like looking day on tap for the area. The winds may be a little bit of a factor later on. This is future cast, and you'll see some of those oranges and reds starting to show up near the gorge later on this evening and into early tomorrow morning. And this could be some 40, 45 mile an hour wind gusts. Uh, east side and out near the Columbia River Gorge. So that is one thing that's going to start to set up here over the next couple of days. But for the most part, our weather is uh, is quiet and a bit crisp this morning. 32 at PDX, 29 in Hillsboro. So certainly some frosty spots as we go statewide. Cold spot on the map right now as we're recording this at 830 on a Tuesday morning. Uh, Rome checking in with 20. Baker City also checking in with 20 degrees early this morning. All right, here's a look at future cast getting up to near 50 later today. Obviously a little cooler up in the Cascades and then as we roll the clock into early tomorrow morning, Portland only gets down possibly into the low 40s tomorrow because the east winds are going to pick up a little bit. So that'll probably keep our temperatures uh, a little warmer. We think maybe tomorrow morning and again on uh, on Thursday morning for that matter. And then temperatures in the valley tomorrow easily get into the 50s. Future cast like Salem into the upper 50s tomorrow. And if we do see some sunshine, if that fog burns off pretty quickly, uh, that doesn't seem all that unreasonable. So here's a look at the next uh, seven days and we're dry for this third week of February. Third uh, or I should say three, four dry days in a row before we bring in our next chance of rain as we go into the weekend. Saturday and Sunday do look a little wet. OK, so this morning and all this week on our sunrise program, we've been talking about uh, the what does the future look like the next 10 years of medicine of food and agriculture. Well, this morning was transportation. Got a chance to talk with futurist Steve Brown, and he kind of gave us some insight as to what may be in the near and not so near future in terms of getting around here in Portland. Have a listen. Here come the flying cars. Well, not exactly, says futurist Steve Brown. Think more like scaled up drones that can bypass traffic and zip a dozen passengers from Gresham to Hillsborough in 25 minutes. I'm tracking over a hundred companies that are vying to be the flying car companies of the future. So this is a serious space. While that may be a little more into the future, self-driving cars are nearly here. They're already undergoing vigorous testing. ODOT has a whole team on this, an autonomous vehicle task force. And they are considering what changes might need to occur on our roads to make this happen. They're looking at things like stripes on the road and LED signs that all self-driving cars can actually process. For the car manufacturers, there's accounting for everything else that might come their way. Unusual things you might see on the road, things that uh, humans can ex instinctively adapt to or reason their way through, but which you have to specifically program a computer to respond to. Okay, so we're not giving up driving just yet, but here now, electric vehicles. Good chance one of your neighbors has one. In the last decade, the number of electric cars on the road in Oregon has soared from 600 in 2010 to nearly 30,000 today. Most projections say sometime in the next three to five years, there will be a crossover when electric vehicles, certainly on the total cost of ownership, if not also the upfront costs, will be comparable to a uh, internal combustion engine vehicle. In Oregon right now, about 40% of greenhouse gases comes from the transportation sector. And of that, that 60% come from light duty cars. If you want to reduce greenhouse gases, you really have to move towards much cleaner transportation options. Almost a decade ago, West Coast states installed DC fast charging stations along the West Coast Electric Highway, 44 just along I-5. Fast forward to 2020. Look, there's about eight or nine private companies in the state of Oregon that are putting in electric charging networks. While most of your charging will be done at home, you'll have many more options when you're out on the open road.
So I put the question out on my Facebook page uh, last week, actually, would you miss driving? Because, uh, you know, believe it or not, <laughs> a lot of people would. Actually, I think I might. Uh, and I got some really good responses uh, to the point of, you know, people kind of like driving. It's a kind of a de-stressor. Um, but a really good comment I got uh, kind of maybe uh, anti this or anti, you know, the coming of technology, so to speak, is uh, I'm, I'm actually working to, to, uh, to bring this comment up right now. Uh, Elizabeth Scott chimed in. She said, you know, those options are great for city folks, but for folks that live in, in rural Oregon, there's not really that many options. And it's interesting that she brings that up because there's a mobility pilot project that's coming to uh, Hood River actually uh, in this spring or this summer where five electric vehicles, five shared electric vehicles are going to be uh, put in the city of Hood River to kind of experiment and see how uh, that car share project works. So that'll be something interesting uh, to keep tabs on as the future of transportation evolves. We've been focusing on the future all week. We've got more stories coming up Wednesday, Thursday, Friday on Sunrise, so we hope you'll watch. Meanwhile, if you've got a question, maybe a weather-related question for Rod or I, go ahead and hit us up on our uh, Facebook pages and we'll be sure to tackle that on our next Weather Extra. Have a good day.